जग में भेजा निर्मल दे कर काया आकर के संसार में मैंने आकर के संसार में मैंने उसको दाग लगाया जन्म जन्म की मैली चादर जन्म जन्म की मैली चादर कैसे दाग छुड़ाओ मैली चादर निर्मल बाणी पाकर तुझ से नाम तेरा पाया नई नामोर तर से परमेश्वर कभी न तुझको ध्याया मन बिना की तारी टूटी मन बिना की तारी टूटी अब क्या गीत सुनाओ मैली चादर वोड के कैसे द्वार तुम्हारे किन पैरों से चल कर तेरे मंदिर कभी न आया जहा जहा हो पूजा तेरी कभी न शीस झुकाया जहा जहा हो पूजा तेरी कभी न शीस झुकाया हे घर घर में हार के आया गे घर घर में हार के आया अब क्या हार चढ़ाओ मैली चादर ओर के कैसे द्वार तुम्हारे आओ हे पावन परमेश्वर मेरे मन ही मन शर्मा मैली चादर देवर मन ही तू ई जग वल्ला बाड़ी के दार रू जीव गल्ला देवर मन ही तू ई जग इष्टे दिवस इष्टे वर्ष इटू करारूनो अरतवरारो देवर मन इो जगवल बाड़े दारू जीवी देवर मन इो जगवल पैसा पानी धन संपत्ति पुत्र पौत्रादि ये तो करके नाम को प्रकट नहीं किया Only when you 
meet the perfect master and you become determined to get connected with the norm, can you rise above to the higher states of consciousness within? As long as you have not got the mercy of the master and as long as you do not know the secret of norm, and you have not done your meditation and become aware of the norm within you, then your life is just worthless. What does it matter whether you took birth or not? It's all one and the same thing. What are you to take from this world? All this money, houses, women, children, all of these worthy things are just things for outer show and they're objects of mind. They are not yours, nor do they have any connection with you. All of these worldly things are just fan fantasies of your mind. Just look at the condition of those who consider children to be the source of happiness. At the time of birth, yes, there might be some happiness. In the time when they're, they're just little children growing up, there might be also some happiness in having the children. But just see what happens when these same children grow to the age where they're no longer dependent upon you. At that time, they no longer obey any of your orders. And then just see how much unhappiness you have to suffer at that time. तरंग जो है उनकी करने से बिन्ती में भी आ जाएंगे। मगर हमारे हृदय रूपी समुचे के जो तरंग हैं, 
ಪಾಪದಕನ ಪರಿತಾಪವನಾರಿಸು ವರ್ಷಿಸು ಶೀತಲವಾರಿ ಪಾಪದಕನ ಪರಿತಾಪವನಾರಿಸು ಪರಿಶಿಸು ಶೀತಲವಾರಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ತ್ಯಜಿಸುವ ಅಂತಿಮ ಕಾಲದ ನೀನೇ ಗಸೆಯ ಕಾರಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ತ್ಯಜಿಸುವ ಅಂತಿಮ ಕಾಲದ ನೀನೇ ಗಸೆಯ ಕಾರಿ ನೀನೆ ದಯಾಮಯ ಇನ್ನಾರಿರುವರು ನಿನ್ನಂದದಾಗಿದ ಕಾರಿ ಪರಮ ಸಂತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಪಲ್ಟು ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಗುರುವಿನ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಪಡಿಸ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ವರ್ಣನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಗುರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾರು ಗುರು ಗುರುವಿನ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಏನು that is the principle that is that he is yeno. establishing mele the tannasaka tane yenu pani bartadu in our pani hesar guru in our body the divine sound akharatma upadesha kurtakanta mantra tantra adigalu and that uh, that is the uh, guru and we have to come in contact with that divine sound which is uh, reverberating throughout and that is the guru and not the gurus who give the who, who give the nama which is which is give, which is created by letters or some gurus will give some mantras in the years sharira matu jagati ella nirmana agiya the real guru is the now sir bhogo kalakke ever a dhvani rupavadanta guru in our body and it is you have to go to the center of the two uh, eyebrows and there it is reverberating and you have to come into contact with that divine sound and that is the real guru and further paltu sahib says and what the is the real Vaadi. seva aa shabd dali dai hondi shabd the divine sound is the real guru and to merge in that real sound my our service is the real seva not any other seva throughout and day and night if we are if we are engaged in if we are engaged yavat to ade jnana divine sound and if we are only contemplating in, the, in that everlasting knowledge of the sound we will not get sleep we, do, we will not like eating and drinking etc and always our our consciousness will go upward surya dikintalu atithavadanta this is the purest this is the purest method or the purest uh, uh, method and the power and if we are merged in this throughout and we will not again come back and take to take to cycle of birth and death this kind of method or this kind of yoga is called sahaja samadhi that is self existing status that is called self existing status or sahaja samadhi and this one is uh, is the everlasting and real one in sector bhagya dinde avar mele ninu dana mana dhana sarvasu arpitu maadu any person who is having this knowledge of this path this pure and divine path you surrender to him completely and surrender your body well and mind or and all your possessions nalk khani the human body yamat nalk the most important and most yamat nalk lakh yamat of all the species of life created and this body is even craved for by gods and goddesses also the gods and goddesses may have long span of life or more pleasures and they may indulge in in so many things but still if it is only in the human body 
that the path of realization or path to liberation is laid down by the creator himself but if uh, even the devas or even the gods and goddesses they have to take to human life if they want liberation from this birth and death cycle see our body is the ship and our life is life is the ocean so this ship has to pass through this uh, ocean of life so for that for the safe passage of the ship we must have a an efficient and a competent uh, captain so that captain is the guru so unless we surrender or we get at such a sadguru or the master we cannot pass through this ocean of life having obtained such a sadguru we must have implicit faith and devotion to him and then only we will get the quality of renunciation renunciation is is not external it is not like giving a food or taking up to some spiritual uh, external exercises it is renunci real renunciation is that we should uh, in our heart of heart we must uh, we must uh, have no desires for the worldly things unless we have faith implicit faith in he in the sadguru we will not get this quality of renunciation it is a satsang see we must uh, if we just hear satsang and leave it it is not the real satsang we have to we must have the knowledge of this true path shown by the sadguru and and that is you must be he able to you must also follow the instructions laid down by the sadguru see we must if we just hear satsang and leave it, it is not the real satsang. we have to we must have the knowledge of this true path shown by the sadguru and that is you must be is he able to you must also follow the instructions laid down by the sadguru about uh, taking food about uh, our way of life and we should not uh, uh, take uh, drinks and other uh, things these things we should implicitly follow and we must follow the satsang and we must uh, have the you must always be connected our mind to the divine sound which is in and we should be able to hear with the help of our ear this truth true path then only we would have heard the, the real satsang also madhura vagari vidya in a doubt or wavering about the principles or about the path shown by the guru and also about the guru otherwise if we have fickle minded mindedness in this path we will not have the real satsang and we will not be able to follow the madhuri en aagutade eno ana satsanga anumani irukku unless you have got unless we have got implicit faith and devotion to the sadguru we will not be able to cross this ocean of life even though we have obtained this uh, ship of the ship body which is the ship for crossing this ocean of life so to cross this ocean of life successfully we must have implicit faith in the sadguru to whom we have surrendered ಮಯಿನ್ನಾರಿರುವರು ನಿನ್ನಂದದಾಗಿಸಕಾರಿ ಸದ್ಗುರುವರ ದೀನದಯಾಳೋ ರಾಧಾಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸಂತ ಸದ್ಗುರುವರ ಮನ ಮುಖ ಮಾನವ ದೀನೋಧಾರ ಮನ ಮುಖ ಮಾನವ ದೀನೋಧಾರ ಸಂತ ಸಮಾಗಮ ತತ್ವ ವಿಚಾರ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಧಾರಾಕಾರ ಸಂತ ಸದ್ಗುರುವರ ದೀನದಯಾಳೋ ರಾಧಾ 
स्वामी संत सदगुरुवर स्मरण भजन कृत जन कई वारी स्मरण भजन कृत जन कई वारी जनन मरण भया दुख निवारी सतत भक्त जना हृदय विगारी संत सदगुरुवर दीन दयालो राधा स्वामी संत सदगुरुवर सहस्रदल पद्मासन शोभित सुंदर सूरत सुनाद निनादित राघव प्रार्थित चरण सदारत प्रक्षतु गुरुवर संत सदगुरुवर दीन दयालो राधा स्वामी संत सदगुरुवर अतलित हो गदंते हेलवान माडया तंदे सुति सुळिदु नोडदंते अंधकन माडया तंदे अतलित हो गदंते मातुंदु केळदंते किवुडान माडया तंदे शरणार पाद वल्लदे शरणार पाद वल्लदे अन्य विषय केळसदंते इरिसो कूडाल संगम देवा अतलित हो गदंते हेडवान माडया तंदे सुति सुळिदु नोडदंते ंदे गुरु ताई गुरु बंधु बळगा गुरु विन गुप्त वो मोची गदु गुरु तंदे गुरु ताई गुरु बंधु बळगा गुरु विन गुप्त वो मोची गदु गुरुवीन गुण कुंडाडीद मनु जरिगे हरता नोनि दू कैवल्य कोडुवनु गुरु तंदे गुरु ताई गुरु बंधु बळग गुरुवीन गुप्त उ मोची गदु पंधन भव भय बिडीसेन्ना गुरु राय दीना कर्मावदीसीन्ना गुरु राय हिंदीना कर्मादी मुंदे मरवी नोळु केडुवादे यन्ननु मुंदे मरवी दूतापत्रय बिडदे कोडु मोक्षवनु गुरु यू डू नॉट नीड टू गिव मी एनी अदर थिंग गुरु बंधु एक्सेप्ट गिव मी दैट सेवा वी पीपल डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द इनर मिस्ट्री ऑफ सेवा एंड अनलेस वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट ट्रू सेवा इज वी कैन नॉट रीयूनाइट विद गॉड you may endeavor with all kinds of noble thoughts to appreciate and understand and unite with god but without seva 
no true understanding will awaken within. Seva is not a subject of the intellect, nor is it merely something which is done with the hands and the feet. When the sadhu comes to our house, we should understand that God himself has come, and we should do that devotion to him with all love and all appreciation. Now in the times that we live, because people do not understand the mysteries of seva, people try to ensnare the sadhus with their arguments and their wranglings. One sadhu went to Kashi to have the darshan of Vishwanath. In his possession he had one very nice pot, kamando. Then one man spotted that kamando and he thought, how can I rob him of that, of that kamando, that pot? So he came before that sadhu and with all humility and outward show, he pranamed before that sadhu and sat at his feet. And he sat there quietly for five or ten minutes and then he said, Maharaj, give some seva to this sevadar of yours. Then that sadhu understood he appears to be a very great devotee. So that sadhu said, Brother, what seva can you do? And that man replied, Well, just let me bring you some food and drink. Then that sadhu said, What will you bring for me? And that man replied, Oh, I'll just bring you some puris and other good foods and some milk to drink. So that man went off to one shop where puris and vegetables were being served and he, for two annas, a very small amount, he purchased some food and brought it and spread it, put it down before the sadhu. And he said to the sadhu, How can you eat this dry food? It is better that I, if you give me your permission and have mercy upon me, I'll be able to, I'll bring some milk for you. Then that sadhu thought to himself, this man is really a great devotee. Then that man told him, but I don't have any container to bring that milk in. Let me use your, your kamando and I will bring you some good milk. Then that sadhu, being intoxicated with the thoughts of the puris and vegetables to eat, which only cost two annas, he gave that man his kamando to fetch the milk, and that man took the kamando and ran away, never to come back again. So that sadhu just sat there bef looking at the puris and waiting for that man to return with the milk. He sat there for one or two hours, but what re reason did that man have to return to him? Why did he return when for two annas he got a very nice kamando and he had that for his possessions? In the same way, there are many people who appear to be sevas, sevadars of the masters. But what can be got from such people? When those kind of people take from others, they're just robbing themselves. And that makes their hearts very far from true.
चंदन गम पानी जाके गंग गंग बास समानी जाके गंग गंग बास समानी अब कैसे छूटे नाम रटलागी प्रभु जी तुम घन बन गम मोरा प्रभु जी तुम घन बन गम मोरा जैसे चितवत चंद चकोरा अब कैसे छूटे प्रभु जी तुम घन बन गम मोरा जैसे चितवत चंद चकोरा अब कैसे छूटे प्रभु जी तुम मोती गम धागा प्रभु जी तुम मोती गम धागा जैसे आप फरमाते हैं मेरे हृदय के अंदर में नाम का जो है भंडार खुला हुआ नाम के धारे खंड ब्रह्मांड नाम के धारे सूर्या पताल ऐसा जो नाम सारा खंड ब्रह्मांड का आधार हृदय में प्रकट है अब वो जो है कैसे प्रकट हुआ मेरे संत सदगुरु ने मेरे सिर पर वर्ग हस्त रखने से अंदर के कपाट खुल गए और नाम की जागृता ही हुई जब तक जो है उनकी कृपा नहीं थी तब तक जो है हम इस दुनिया के अंदर में जन्म मरण रूपी चक्कर और कर्मों का दुख भोगते रहे जब गुरु की कृपा हुई अंदर नाम का प्रकटता ही हुआ और जनन मरण मुक गए दीज आर दीचिंग ऑफ संत रामदास फोर्थ सिख गुरु ही सेज दैट द स्पिरिचुअल ट्रेजर हाउस ऑफ नाम इज रिवील्ड इन माय हार्ट दैट नाम व्हिच सपोर्ट्स द एंटायर यूनिवर्स it supports all the heavens and the hells it supports everything if creation that nam has manifested within me how is that nam revealed within me that nam was revealed by the blessings of my master who placed his hand upon my head he rendered asunder the inner veil and revealed to my heart the greatness and glory of nam as long as his blessings were not upon me and as long as he did not shower his grace i was ensnared in the world and was involved with the births and the deaths and i was spinning around the wheel of 84 and furthermore i was involved with enjoying and suffering the consequences of my karmas when the master showered his grace upon me then that inner veil opened up and my soul became free of that involvement <coughs> with births and deaths mere hi are ratan naam hara basi
photo of Baba Somnath when he was 28 years old, 1913. This is a photograph of Baba Somnath when he was 41 years old. He had studied Kundalini Yoga in Bombay, Maharashtra. At the age of 43, Baba Somanath had perfected the Kriyaman or Kundalini Yoga, even though he studied under an imperfect guru. He had perfected the techniques, his strong yearning had given him the energy to ascend above the body. Yet he still yearned for God. When Babaji was 44, he met Saun Singhji Maharaj. This is a photo from Saun Singhji Maharaj's visit to Bombay, where Babaji was ordered to give satsang. This scene was taken in 1936. In 1951, from the direction and orders of Babaji's master, he gave Nam. referred to here concerns the fact that when we're involved in the world there is a necessary give and take karmic give and take with the between the jivas 
And all the things that exist, all the objects that exist in this world are just creations of call. And when that known became manifested within me by the grace of the Master, the attachment and bondage to these things was severed and I became liberated. And now there is no more coming and going for this soul. As long as there is give and take in this world, then the soul must come and it must go. In spirituality, to understand, first of all, what is the highest ideal is a very difficult thing. To practice is yet another thing, but to even understand what the highest ideal is, is very difficult. To understand what is give and take, who is coming and going into our lives, and what are all these things that are taking place in our lives, simply by talking about them in very high and philosophical terms, the ignorance which arises out of misunderstanding does not disappear. Nor by philosophical speculations do, do the sins that we have done disappear. Only those who contemplate upon the mystery of give and take and of all the events that are taking place in our lives can become prepared and fit to do the true meditation. मैं ऋण मुक्त हुआ ऋण मुक्त का मतलब यही होता है अब हम सारे ही ऋणी हैं किसी का देना है और किसी का लेना है और काल का पंचभौतिक सामग्री हम अपना बना के बैठे हुए हैं वो भी एक तरह का ऋण है अब जो है मैंने इन सारे सामग्री जिसके थे उसको मैंने सौंप दिया और मेरा नाम मेरे अंदर में प्रकट हुआ मैं ऋण मुक्त हो गया ना मेरे को आना है ना जाना है जब तक लेन देन का संबंध है तब तक इसको आना जाना पड़ता है परमार्थ की अंतिम स्थिति को समझना ही बड़ा कठिन है करना तो फिर आगे की बात है पहले यथार्थ समझना ही कठिन है कि लेन देन क्या है और कौन आता कौन जाता है ये तो ऐसे ही बात है कि ऊपर के जो है उड़ाव शब्दों से मात्र जो है इसका अज्ञानता मिटेगा नहीं ना पाप दूर हो सकते उसको गहरे ख्याल से अच्छी तरह से समझे तब जो है उसका ये अभ्यास कर सकता और उस फल को प्राप्त कर लेता नहीं and were collected there from innumerable births when he showered his love and blessings upon my soul where they went away to I do not know they were all destroyed and as a consequence the soul has become liberated the liberation which is referred to here concerns the fact that when we're involved in the world, there is a necessary give and take, karmic give and take with the between the jivas. ऐसा जो है आनंद और सब दुखों को दूर करने वाला पापों को दग्ध करने वाला जो मन है नाम है तू मन लगा के जो है उस नाम को भज और आप जो है हम नित्य प्रति जो का ये भजन बंदगी करते हैं वो जो है ऊपरी ऊपरी मुंह से या बाहरी ख्याल से नाम स्मरण कर लेते हैं अंदर जो है उस नाम का कुछ भी असर नहीं होता बहुत से सत्संगी लोग कहते हैं 
मैं तो नाम स्मरण तो करता हूं मगर उसका कुछ लज्जत नहीं आता बाबा लज्जत के रूप में करे तब वो लज्जत आएगी लज्जत कहां है तेरे हृदय के अंदर में हृदय के अंदर में लज्जत रूपी नाम प्रकट हो जाए तब जो है नाम नामृत पान कर सकते हृदय के अंदर में दुनिया ही लज्जत भरी हुई है और ममकारत्व जो है भूत जैसा बैठा हुआ है और तू चाहता है नामामृत वो किस तरह से मिले और मुख से जो है तू नाम जपता है अंदर हृदय से दुनिया की चाह इन दोनों का मेल ही नहीं तेरे को नामामृत किस तरह से मिले ते Now he says that oh mind you should pay attention you should become a you should become attached to that power of nam which gives that internal bliss and which frees the soul from all the pains and sufferings of the world Now the master asks the shishyas to examine what kind of meditation they're doing everyone is endeavoring to do this meditation but the reality is is that we're only doing it from the outer aspect of the meditation and we're not getting into the inner connection which is the most important thing we are simply thinking with the outer aspect of our mind and not grasping on to the inner significance of the teachings <laughs>
सद्गुरु कबीर साहेब वाक्य अजरवादू अमरवादू वे नाम उंट बाकी अक्षरात्मक नाम उच्चार कूड़े आकाशदे लय हो आ अजराम नाम तुकान ध्वनि अदू अमरवाद हाँ अब यू अमरवाद निज परंतु नम हृदय स्मरण बंद एलोरीगू नम हृदय स्मरण बरोद अलवरीगू आ नाम अजर अमर सह ना जन मरण के कारणवे आगे नाम स्मरण विधि खुलासावार खुलासावार आ नाम के मुखद सहित जरूरत नाल अलगाड़ जरूरत केवल तित्त मेल स्थान निलि चिंदे स्मरण आगे that it is very simple to practice this now it is not necessary for the moment of any of your lips or need not make any noise it is only by your deep contemplation within if you if this thing could be smart means could be practiced it is without making any physical any physical movement is not at all necessary it could be silently practiced within bin mukda se jap karo nahi jeeb dulao holat surat wo par karo nahi nan darshao ja ho ghans pachhim disa आत्मार हंस ये हंसवे नहीं उलटा ऐन मेल देश नड़ी येश गंगा यमुना सरस्वती मूरू समागम कूड़ा अंत स्नान अंत स्थानी स्नानी कौट्यवधि युगद ऐन जगत वासन अवच्छ तोदोगत आव निर्मल नहीं हंसगत नग हंसगति प्राप्त नहीं कूड़बिड़ेणी संगम येल बरतक धार अब गंगा कड़गिन होतक शक्ति जमुना अरे जमुना अंदर कूड़ अल स्थायी शक्ति अब सरस्वती संगम कूड़ी नहींर्मलन निर्मलन हंसन मेल देश के नी स्वामी स 
सब संसार के हो साचे श्री भगवान भारत में अर्जुन के आगे 